I don't, I still don't think this is the best idea, simply because, well, science vessels are going to come out soon, and that Arbiter probably won't come out in time, or he won't have enough units to support it. This will really depend on the timing of when he uses that Arbiter, and if he chooses to recall, or what. If he chooses just to push down through the center, it's also very hard to push up that ramp, push up that narrow choke. You can see that, you can siege on the cliffs, you can siege in your natural, you can just put that engineering bay there and have your natural completely protected. But now these vultures are coming out, they see the Arbiter, the Arbiter is spotted, Haya will be able to just do something, build Goliath, he'll be able to intercept that Arbiter. Meanwhile, there is a dropship coming from Haya from the right side of the map. He might be able to drop it, but there are pylons in place. Nice job by Tester being able to get that early scout on. Building pylons and burrowing zerglings is such a good idea in any matchup, I mean, obviously. And now these probes will be able to get away in time. And... You know, Tester, that wasn't very uh, effective. Oh, well, actually, it is effective. He's getting quite a few mines uh, down. He's getting quite a few probes. And he's... Oh, wow, those zealots are just going down. He needs dragoons there. Tester needs dragoons. And, wow, those vultures are actually doing quite a lot of damage because... Because Tester just doesn't have anything there. He does have observers now, so he will be able to take down those mines. But those four vultures are still alive. This is giving... Taya the time necessary to get guys, to get more turrets up, to get a science vessel, and this is what he needed right now. He just needed something to buy him a little bit of time, and so that drop was quite effective. And meanwhile, those dragoons are getting stuck at that pylon wall, I'm wondering why they are stuck there. Haya, meanwhile, is macroing up. He has around five, six factories, I believe, and he is putting mines all over the place in anticipation of a recall. This will be so dangerous for Tester. Tester has missed his time of oppor his opportune time to push, to use his Arbiter to push, and now just going for that early Arbiter tackle won't pay off. So his economy will be behind just by a little bit, not by much, but his, uh, his gateways were up later. He has a few less resources because of researching Arbiter Tech, researching this, researching that. And so he's just not going to have as many Dragoons as he would like to combat the tanks that will soon come out. And also because he went for Arbiter Tech, Tester hasn't gone for Expo, which is what you need to do when the Terran Turtles like this, the Protoss players should Expo, should just get an increased uh, economic advantage while the Terran is too afraid to push out at that moment. A dropship is out by Hayo, by the way, from at the right side of the map, but he probably won't be able to go anywhere, really. There are four vultures also on that ramp, just placing mines, just preventing a frontal attack, and Haya is still being very cautious with this dropship. I think, I believe that it probably has four four vultures or something. Meanwhile, he's doing just a run-by with these vultures. Will he get past? He gets a couple of probes. He gets three, four, do I hear a fifth probe? No. He gets a couple of probes before four. they get through that little pylon block. That actually reminds me of use map settings games. By the way, there is a cannon there while this drop is being dropped and it won't work. There are only two vultures. There was probably also a tank, but Haya probably chose not to put the tank down or the two other vultures down because he saw those reinforcements. By the way, I was just saying that those probes getting past that pylon reminds me of that UMS game on Battle.net called Cat and Mouse. Yeah, really reminds me of that. And yeah, if vultures are cats, then probes can be mice. All right, anyway. We are seeing a very prepared Haya now. The observers have shown a very prepared mined up factory area. There will be no recalls. I think Tester will have to use those arbiters for some really pretty damn good stasis. Otherwise, they're really not going to be able to recall. They're, they can just cloak their units. But Haya will have science vessels. He will have detection. He'll have a bunch of commsat stations. I think. Tester has gone for his third expo, by the way. I forgot to mention that, but I'm not sure if Haya has yet. I don't believe Haya is. I believe Haya is probably going to just wait for that recall and then push out after that. That's usually a good idea. Um, that's basically how timing works. You don't really want to move out of your base until you know where you're 
enemy's units will be uh, where your un enemy's units are and with arbiters is the thing you don't really know you can't be sure that your enemy's units will confront your mass of siege tanks and now this is reaching uh, oh and I was wrong Haya is pushing out right now he has enough mines I believe I guess he feels comfortable comfortable enough with enough mines and he is able to push out from the front he has Goliath though so he won't be uh, he won't be forced to do a slow push or anything and he has so many tanks right now he has a lot of tanks and Tester just it doesn't look like that he has enough units actually to prevent this he is doing somewhat of a flank he's trying to get around both sides of that large tank force but I don't think he'll be able to do that to to do it because Haya is at that nice upper ledge position where the uh, the ridge is actually quite narrow so if dragoons choose to approach tanks from there it'll actually be quite ineffective it'll be interesting to see a recall over z uh, the tanks recall of zealots maybe but I don't think we're gonna see that maybe we will I wish pro gamers would do that more often actually and we, I don't know, we're not seeing any confrontation yet. Both players are just deciding to go for that macro build, go for more expansions, not engage their armies until they're completely sure that they will be able to take out the other army. And I think Haya actually should do some more harass. He's letting, he's just letting Tester get two more expansions already. And an EMP goes off on that Arbiter. Nice EMP. That Arbiter won't be able to recall or stasis anything. And that whole right side of the army, um, I think basically Tester has two armies right now. One at the top middle of the map and one at the bottom le uh, bottom right now and it's approaching Haya's base but he's going to be in trouble I think there are two blue lines kind of just surrounding pincering that force I don't think this is good for Tester if you just look at the mini map this looks kind of dangerous right now and that Arbiter doesn't have any spells to support those units with and when you were facing a giant pro uh, Terran army you really need some and there is a recall going off on those tanks that recall might actually be effective it's going on the tanks and those units might just take down all those tanks those tanks weren't seized though so they may be able to run away but Tester looks like he's actually doing a good job the army of Haya is out out of position and Haya's mouth drops open his mouth is wide open with surprise it looks like but his army is coming back and yeah, this is what I was talking about. Tester just doesn't have that many units. He just doesn't have the units to support, I don't know, a frontal attack, but maybe he could just take down this command, or he shouldn't really take down the command center. It's not really worth anything yet. He needs to take down factories, but these vultures are already taking care of everything. He's taking care of the zealots. That recall was completely a complete failure, and now his expansion at the 3 o'clock position was taken down by those two tanks. So this is quite dangerous for Tester. Tester wasn't able to really affect any damage with that. He was able to, I don't know, kill a couple of tanks, but he really needs to take down a lot more tanks. And meanwhile, he's just walking into mines, really poor by a Tester. Tester, I guess, really desperately wants that expansion, so he he just walked in there without an observer. But he keeps losing so many zealots. He lost like seven zealots right there, carelessly, to four tanks. And meanwhile, he hasn't really done anything with his Arbiters. He's done that one recall, uh, actually two recalls, but he hasn't done anything else. And there's a GG from Tester. Actually, I'm actually kind of surprised. I think he could have lasted a little bit longer and just played it out for his team. He should have worn out high a little more. Uh, that may be bad-mannered, but I still think that that's what you should do in a clan war format. Good job to Haya though. Haya won, not particularly because of any skills, I think. <laughs> Alright, I'm being a little bit mean to Haya. He did do a pretty nice drop. He did play pretty standardly, pretty solidly. He was able to push out at pretty much the right time, even though his complete, his entire army was out of position for a while. But he was able to clean up the kind of lackluster recalls of Tester. So, good job to Haya. <laughs> and... We'll see you, or I'll see you, in the second set. Thanks for listening.